there's something with this morning. I feel very, 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 very good. I don't know. I think I feel like what I assume a Gormaya fan is feeling right now. Congratulations on your win. If Silepa is going to be okay, don't worry. Don't panic, okay? Things are going to get better. You're watching Why in the Morning. And you can find us on White 5 on Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Why in the Morning. We are trying to inject some health this Monday. Thus, Health Monday. And there was a run yesterday, the Beyond Zero Marathon. And one of the causes that I saw was I will run for better access to health care. I think so. Better health care access. I'm not too sure which one is which. But I liked it very, very much. And we are going to not be talking about that in particular. But maybe we can use that and slide in real nice. In case you have any question, you know what to do. Now, you know I'm never alone in studio. Let me introduce to you my very, very able guests. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Good morning. I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get with the rhythm. Maybe tell us who you are. What's your name? My name is Pitambu Gonjaroga. Mm -hmm. I am an emergency medical technician mm -hmm. and an emergency medical instructor. The founder of Cast Bridge Rescue Services. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be here. I'm a panda chair. I found a who? I like that. Founder of Cast Bridge Rescue Services. Where, 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 where? I really like that. If in case you've never seen it before, I don't know how to help you. You can just go to our YouTube channel. He comes usually with a dummy that I like to call Ian. But now we have a very, very beautiful lady in the house, and it's her first time, so be nice. What's your name? My name is Susie. Mm -hmm. Uh, Susie Oyemo, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, where can we find you, maybe on social media? Um, you can find me on Facebook, mm -hmm. at Pendogishui, mm -hmm. and on Instagram, at Pendogishui, mm -hmm. yeah. Can we also find you on social media, maybe don't do that? You can find me on social media, on Facebook, mm -hmm. Kefa Kefa, mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, Lucy Kefa, mm -hmm. yes. Wow, okay, I will not comment on the handle. What we're going to do is straight in. Did you go for the marathon, by the way? Nope. Did you go? No. I also did not go. <laughs> but for those who went, congratulations. Okay, honestly, when I hear marathon, all I know is uh, it's a race and there's going to be money to be won, basically. So this whole Beyond Zero campaign and all the causes I have come to learn recently, you know. I'll run for, accept, uh, what is it, acceptability for people, um, kids with, who are able differently. Mm -hmm. There's another one, um, oh, better screening of cancer. I've seen one for uh, curbing early marriages for young girls, FGM, FGM yes. female genital mutilation. So there's there's a whole lot that's going there. See, we can be at on a whole Sunday. Yes. Yeah. So how can we tie that into what we're doing today? So today's topic is about congenital heart diseases, mm -hmm. especially in children. And uh, these diseases occur when uh, children are uh, in the first six weeks, mm -hmm. when the mother has started now the first, uh, that's the one and a half months after the mother is pregnant. Mm -hmm. So some of these diseases start early enough because of some genetical issues. Inside the womb? Yes. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Yes, inside the womb. So how can we link back with the Beyond Zero? Mm -hmm. The Beyond Zero aim is to limit no, uh, less maternal or uh, low or, or nothing. Zero. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. maternal deaths, mm -hmm. no child uh, birth deaths, mm -hmm. and also it stops FGM, early marriages. Mm -hmm. So some of these uh, genital uh, heart issues, mm -hmm. they are, uh, we have the serious ones mm -hmm. and the less serious. Mm -hmm. The less serious are after a child has developed. Oh. Yes. I would have assumed it's the other way around, but okay. Mm -hmm. But now the serious one is now in uh, during birth because mm -hmm. Yeah, the, when at uh, the six weeks, the heart has, start, uh, has started developing. Mm -hmm. So some of these uh, muscles of the heart have started growing the baby mm -hmm. during this gestation period. And this, 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 this uh, the, the, what, what is it called? The defects mm -hmm. are caused because of uh, whatever the mother is taking, mm -hmm. some medication. Mm -hmm. Number two, if the mother is an alcoholic, mm -hmm. Or, or a smoker mm -hmm. can cause heart defects mm -hmm. and also <coughs> German disease mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, known as rubera which is a uh, itago the missiles oh. yeah can cause the 
can cause the baby to have the heart defects. Eh? Mm -hmm. So if uh, he or she realizes that he or she uh, that she has a German uh, disease, eh? mm -hmm. he or she uh, so she should uh, go to the he and because she. Because up here. <laughs> The, so she, uh, so the spouse or uh -huh. the okay, as a man, yeah. Uh -huh. If you not, uh, your your woman has started getting me, so she should take her to hospital. Yeah, and if uh, she doesn't have anyone, uh -huh. should go to see a doctor immediately, uh -huh. and the doctor will uh, <coughs> give her some immunization as early as possible uh -huh. to prevent these defects. Something else, uh, if uh, the mother is a smoker uh -huh. and a drunkard. Uh -huh. The high chances definitely Even during the pregnancy during pregnancy especially during pregnancy mm -hmm. yes and also some um, diseases mm -hmm. such as diabetes oh, that's yes uh -huh. so if uh, a woman knows you uh, a woman knows she is mm -hmm. diabetic mm -hmm. maybe hypo or hyper hyper means low blood sugar mm -hmm. and hyper means high mm -hmm. blood sugar mm -hmm. so when she realizes that she has diabetes should go to a doctor and start be, uh, should be guided on what to do mm -hmm. so if she doesn't mm -hmm. that may lead to to the defects wow. the and, uh, peter said that there are a couple of things that maybe a lady can be taking to now create the kind of hostile environment that would cause heart disease or things like that now aside from yadarati is there like food or a type of lifestyle that someone might be you know living and they don't know that they're endangering their unborn baby yeah Which one? um like the the ladies that do the hard um gym mm -hmm. workout yeah mm -hmm. that can also harm their child wow mm -hmm. and um being in a hostile environment mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, hostile environment and also um, the the type of clothes they wear. Are you serious? Yes. Ah. If you're pregnant and you're wearing tight clothes, <laughs> yeah. There's a story someone told me. I was busy getting my head on one random day a while back, and they were telling me now she's a mom. She she wore no. She went to the hospital. Nakienda. I think she thought she had labor pains or something. So I think I recommend a man go flani. I think I no, you, you can't be just like this. Okay, she wasn't told that nicely, but uh, in summary, I am always vibing. To is only to zote no kind of less or I'm okay to even come on and scare. So it's 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 a thing, eh? Yeah. Way and okay, it's a little bit. There is also something that scared me a bit. How would you say? Um, prenatal care is important for the mom. It's very important because mm -hmm. um, if you don't take care of, like a pregnant woman, if she doesn't take care of herself, mm -hmm. most probably, or it's just a direct indication that both her and the child will be in danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so prenatal care is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, what happens, say, the baby, okay, now has developed a heart condition while in the womb and then the baby is out, what happens, what next? How can you even tell that it has? Uh, defects. Uh, yeah. There are some types of defects that uh, develop. Number one, mm -hmm. you've heard about holes in the heart. Mm -hmm. As in a literal yes, hole in the literal heart? heart. Uh, yes, okay. abnormal blood vessels. Mm -hmm. And then there were some of the signs, uh, cyanosis. Mm -hmm. Cyanosis is color, discoloration of the skin. So what's a talker color then? Grayish, uh -huh. yes, a rapid breathing. Mm -hmm. uh, the baby gets tired when he or she is eating or breastfeeding. Those are some of the signs. Yes. Hey. You know, how do you guys deal with these things? Mm, you be having heart condition sounds so wishy. I don't think I would have thrived in this. So situation. that's that's why it's always very important for mm -hmm. when our lady is pregnant mm -hmm. or expectant. He or she should. Uh, she, he or she is. So she should go to for the antenatal clinic mm -hmm. as early as possible. Mm -hmm. So if, for example, a major she is pregnant mm -hmm. this month, so from next month, mm -hmm. and a clinic. And when should that stop? Because I hear you're supposed to stop it years after you've given birth. Like even after you've given birth. Remember, mm -hmm. some of the heart diseases mm -hmm. are hereditary. Mm -hmm. 
are you together? Mm. Uh, for example, if I, ha if, I ha if I have a heart disease, there are high chances mm -hmm. that my, my children or the children of my children will have heart disease. Yes. Okay. So let's have a situation where the, the baby is okay in the womb, everything is fine, prenatal care check, um, auntie is healthy, mm -hmm. then St. Jay gives birth, and then now suddenly there are heart defects. First of all, how do you tell? How do you tell that the baby is now suffering from a heart condition? Again, I like to target new mothers because that's where people freak out a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know what's wrong. You barely know how to breastfeed. Now something looks like it's wrong. What do you do? What do you do when the baby starts looking tired, tired, and can't, you know, breathe? How would you advise someone to? Um, that's so obvious. Mm -hmm. When you notice there's something wrong with your child, mm -hmm. immediately take them to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Because if you take time, the more time you take, the more serious the child gets. Mm -hmm. So it is very important to take the child direct to hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you find out it has a heart disease. How long do you move on from that? So when after that, mm -hmm. uh, they'll, they'll start having the clinics. Mm -hmm. But before then, uh, it's very it's very good for the expected ladies, mm -hmm. uh, at least to be taught the the negatives mm -hmm. if i see my child is like this mm -hmm. what should i do mm -hmm. because most of the uh, first aid is mm -hmm. and uh, if that happens they do, they panic a lot mm -hmm. most of the times they're alone mm -hmm. so he or she will forget she'll forget that i'm supposed to call for an ambulance at a sour dog, we give one. I can't go. You see, you see, that instant so, panic. Uh -huh. So it's very good for young mothers mm -hmm. to know the basic life-saving skills. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you see your child has uh, starting having cyanosis, which is a grey blue discoloration of the skin, mm -hmm. call for an ambulance and rush that person, rush the baby to to hospital. Mm -hmm. From there, henceforth, the baby will be done the tests. Mm -hmm. Uh, to find your test color, mm -hmm. which will determine, will show what is the problem. And uh, some of the cases are, uh, they can be controlled mm -hmm. at uh, situational levels. Mm -hmm. If, for example, a mother knows here that she's a drinker mm -hmm. or a smoker, mm -hmm. and a mm -hmm. So, uh, and um, diabetic. Mm -hmm. I suppose jangali amas po fata magiza daktari, especially when it comes to the diet, uh, it will affect the child. Mm -hmm. Remember also stress is an issue that may cause... Yeah, but life, I know a break. I know a break. I know a break. Yes, I know a break. I know a break. But especially the first three months are very delicate. Mm -hmm. Because remember the baby is for me, we call it the first trimester. Mm -hmm. So, the ukiona pressure and stress, you're affecting the growth of the baby. Mm -hmm. Remember I said, as I said earlier, the heart takes the first six weeks, mm -hmm. the, heart, the baby's heart has started developing. Mm -hmm. So, any trigger you, you have may actually affect the baby. Mm -hmm. So, the young mother, mothers will encourage them to have chills, as in, you know, to have shock absorbers, but most of them don't have. Mm -hmm. And you understand, you'll have to, you have to understand them at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, also encourage them to go for uh, prenatal care, mm -hmm. which in uh, most uh, the public hospitals is not costly. You have NHIF, which mm -hmm. will cover for that. Because that was my next question. Yes. These things are sounding a bit expensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. So as you link back to beyond zero, mm -hmm. that's the importance of uh, the, the run that was yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there are a lot of children that die mm -hmm. because of uh, maternity uh, maternity issues arising, mm -hmm. uh, defects because of uh, the mother does not know how to take care of herself mm -hmm. or what to eat during pregnancy and what not to eat, what not to do during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So if they don't have this knowledge, mm -hmm. remember at the end of the time the baby will be affected. I feel like adding, Auntie First Lady, can we add zero makasiruko into one of those causes? Because it seems like it's important to have zero makasiruko. Guys, yes, I want to imagine you're a doctor, Pendo, and let's say I'm expecting, and I come and tell you, okay, perhaps maybe my husband's family has a history of heart disease. 
that in turn means maybe my baby has will have heart disease. How would you advise me? Um, first of all, I'll, I'll just tell you to continue with the the clinics, mm -hmm. and you take care of if you take care of yourself, you're taking care of the baby. So if you follow the instructions that I will be giving you, take care of the baby, eat well, avoid stress, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, just be safe. Mm -hmm. That I think that will work. If I was a diabetic and I'm expecting, how would you advise me to play with my diet? There is a way from before you before you're um, diagnosed, mm -hmm. you're given. Um, the diet you should be taking, the type of medicine you should be taking, and the time of the time you should be taking the medicine. Mm -hmm. So, if you're diabetic, you obviously know that you're not supposed to take your medicine if you're hungry or before you've eaten or yeah, when you most of most of the time when you're hungry. So, if you take your medication uh, and uh, it affects you, obviously it will affect the, the, the baby. baby. Yeah. And there's no for going off the medication until you give it. No. That is not advisable. Don't no. do it at home. Mm -hmm. No. I we, we have a friend who is diabetic and I, and I see some of the struggles he has. Like I didn't understand at, at first how akwa food and a kule food he time and nice of it will. And I imagine it must be almost twice as hard for someone who's pregnant because now you're hungry for two. So it's it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. How would you advise someone to get emotional support? Um, you can go for counseling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have friends, yeah, you can also have. You can have a friend that you can always talk to. Mm -hmm. Avoid, avoid thinking of the kevo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. just be positive and yeah. Remember, you're living your life. You live your life good for the baby, not for Kevo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now it's not about you. It's not about Kevo. It's now about, it's about the baby. The baby. What's yeah. Going on. So when you're okay, the baby is okay. We are championing awareness here, right? And I'm seeing that we're focusing a lot when, of, when the baby is still in the womb. What would your punchline be if you were to come up with a headline just to shock people into paying attention? You know, the Sigis have funny funny pictures on any me. What would your punchline be for creating awareness for this type of situation for heart disease? Child heartbeat. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Look at him go. I didn't even give you five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations and why child heartbeat? Child heartbeat because uh, you see it's it's good to see a child grow mm -hmm. and it's painful to see a child when personally when it comes to me. If I see my worst cases are for children, mm -hmm. they put me off. I, I really break because mm -hmm. uh, I feel like the baby does not deserve what happened. What happened. Mm -hmm. So the baby is very, as in, I will say child heartbeat because I don't know what child will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, because I've grown, so I've seen the beauty of life. Mm -hmm. I would like that child to see the beauty of life, have fun, uh, enjoy life, take life simple. So it will it will be very heartbreaking if that child dies because of uh, something that could have been done, something that could have been stopped. Um, you see, uh, heart heart surgeries are very expensive, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the, most of these kids don't don't have the money to cater for themselves. The parents don't have money to cater for their child's survival. So, at the end of the day, it's a loss to us because mm -hmm. the baby is now gone. So that's why I would choose child heartbeat. That no child deserves to die, but the child deserves to have a heartbeat every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like putting some money where where that was. Mm -hmm. I know how he feels about child cases. How do you feel? Have you encountered? Well, as an EMT, in the line of duty, have you ever encountered severe cases with children? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. And um, apart from being an EMT, personally, it has I have come across it. Wow. So, mm. would you give us an example? Um, just a family member of mine mm -hmm. lost the baby when she was due. I'm so sorry. So it really broke me. Mm -hmm so bad mm -hmm. and when I see someone 
when I see um, a mother losing a baby, I always see her and it really breaks. Mm -hmm. So I always tell her, I always, if I, if, if I have, a, uh, if I meet a pregnant woman who's giving up, I always tell that person to take care of, her, take care of herself, because mm -hmm. take care of the baby, because there's another mother who wanted the baby and couldn't get the baby. Mm -hmm. But this other one doesn't want to have the baby. Mm -hmm. So it really breaks when you see a baby passes on and maybe the mother had a lot of expectations for the baby and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it breaks a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I guess I'm a little bit here. I'd let's just move away from that a little bit. We come this way and I ask you a very, very random question. Now I saw this in a series, please do not think I'm mean or shallow, but I have to ask because it sounded so scientific and almost true. So apparently there's this uh, syndrome called broken heart syndrome, where something happens and then you're legit so heartbroken, your heart literally beats faster and then the muscles are torn. Is it true? Depends. Uh -huh. um, remember uh, taking some news is uh, very difficult. Mm. Remember, if you get good news, uh, you will be so excited, and the pressure becomes too much. The blood pressure increases. The same way. At a good news. Yeah, there are people who are like that. Uh, yeah. You know, people are different. Uh -huh. we are, uh, we are the people who, even if you tell them anything, something bad, they'll they'll be cold. But when all them say, nope, mm -hmm. at a is So. Anger, anger uh, that sadness or that anger or somebody has disappointed you totally mm -hmm. may some people do collapse people do collapse wow. so you come back to our done you start CPR wow okay this this is this is very interesting can I ask you a question as as not, because yesterday was International Women's Day. First of all, happy International Women's Day. Happy Women's mm -hmm. Day. Can you tell me Okay. So how how would you? I want to phrase this accordingly because I want to talk about the guy's role in this now pregnancy situation. Because ni meski awa stano kona mimi wana itisha rufu ya juwa. I mean, some of these things are really impossible <laughs> to get. So, how do you balance all these hormones? Do zero makasiriko that we live twishi. My mom always tells me, everything is in your mind. Mm -hmm. If you start saying, "Mina that is in your mind, because you see, not everyone will react the same way. A tear for your jaw or a dream attack this is no mm -hmm. that is in your mind if you think of it that is when you'll want it mm -hmm. yeah oh so Nikki GMB it's the pregnancy um, you're not controlling me it's me yes it's controlling me I'm but me and don't say I'm at yeah evil yes ah, I don't know. maybe was it okay all right so maybe as we wrap this up what would you like to the audience to take home Ka if they missed most of the interview and this is the part that they're getting, what would you like them to take home? Mm. Take your uh, young mothers, take care of themselves mm. because they must talk directly. To oh, them. young mothers should mm -hmm. take care of themselves mm -hmm. because uh, it's, it's at this point that 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 baby needs your support mentally, physically. And also emotionally. Mm -hmm. So, and also I encourage young mothers to go for prenatal care. Mm -hmm. Go talk to that doctor. Go to see, go see the gyna, and understand uh, how your baby is praying. Because with all that, it'll be good to go. And remember, at the end of the day, that child needs a heartbeat. So keep beating for that child. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nani, we are going to give you a prize after this. <laughs> I want. No, wait. It has fascinated me over the years to realize a lot of things are very, very intensely linked to mental health. So, how important would you say mental health is in this whole process of, of being pregnant, of taking yourself, taking care of yourself, taking care of the baby? How would you advise uh, the young mothers out there, the expecting mothers? How would you tell them to guard their heart and their mind? Mm -hmm. um, first of all, you have to accept. If you accept, everything goes on. And once you accept, you, you, have, you have to focus on 
what on the months the, the, the nine months you have ahead of you and the life of the baby and um, yeah how to take care of the baby just be positive and if you're positive everything goes well yeah and remember remember that if you have the baby love th when the baby grows you'll always be proud of the baby no matter what happens mm -hmm. yeah before we conclude mm -hmm. um, it's a it's a it's something that the government should take about this mm -hmm. about uh, having this health care while you are talking about you see we forget we are talking true. about more of the mothers around here mm -hmm. but what about those who don't have access to healthcare facilities even prenatal basic basic things. yes basic mm -hmm. uh, so I really encourage the the government there's a bill about and the EMT recognition if EMTs are recognized, uh, at least we'll have access to emergency vehicles, which will be able to move this oh. uh, this mother to the facility. Mm -hmm. Because some of the mothers die because of they have they have no no one to evacuate them. Mm -hmm. So we're really encouraging this bill that is we are mm -hmm. proposing to the parliament that we hope the parliament guys will see some sense in it and. You see, the common one I see out there, Nairobi have access. But what about those people in the interior sections, Komashamba? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the nearest health health center, at least health centers, they can be able to at least help a lady to give birth. Now you can imagine, you can imagine the pain, the pain that mother will uh, will be going through. Mm -hmm. So it's something the government should take to, co to a consideration. As much as we're saying it's BM0, mm -hmm. let's make this universal health care mm -hmm. a reality. Mm. Yes. Serkal umeskia ushai tuwa, please support this idea. Thanks. That's why I can find Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter. It has been my honor to have Pendle and Peter. Hey. P Square, hey, on the show for Health Monday. <laughs> so next is Hillary, and he's going to do his magical things in the political arena. So don't go away.